Hi, I'm Jen with Making the Photo. In this video, I'll show you how to create custom prompt parameters in Midjourney. This saves you a lot of repetitive typing, but you can also use custom prompts to keep your image recipes a little bit secret. Let me show you how. Midjourney parameters are the dash dash commands that you put at the end of your prompt. These give Midjourney specific instructions about how you want the image to look. If you are new to prompt parameters, start with my video, Quick Guide to Midjourney Prompt Parameters. This video gives you an overview of what parameters can do for your Midjourney images. Some parameters change the look of your image, others change the shape of the canvas, and still others tell Midjourney how crazy and imaginative to be. For many parameters, you can choose from a range of values. You can enter as many parameters as you need to to get the result that you want. But it can get tedious to type out each parameter every single time, and it's easy to forget something important. I can't count how many times I've forgotten to change my aspect ratio and ended up with a square image. Then I have to re-roll my prompt and hope that I get an image that I like. But custom prompt parameters fix this. If you've used Midjourney for a while, you're used to typing slash imagine. But in this video, we're in the world of slash prefer. With prefer options, you can set custom parameters. You've got some options, so let's get started with setting a preferred suffix. Slash prefer suffix adds a specific command to every single prompt you make. You decide what the suffix should be. I like to have the video option, but I'm always forgetting to add the dash dash video command to my prompts. So I set my preferred suffix to dash dash video. This adds video to all of my prompts, and I don't have to worry about remembering. You can have as many commands as you want in your suffix. So if you always want the aspect ratio of 9 by 16, HD, and chaos set at 5, you can have it every single time. To add a suffix, type slash prefer suffix into the message window. Then start typing the commands that you want to add to every image. The new value box will open automatically. When you've finished, click enter or return. You will get a confirmation of your new suffix. Without the suffix, I get a square image, but with the suffix that includes an aspect ratio, I can type the exact same prompt and every time it creates a 9 by 16 image rather than a standard square. Notice the suffix commands show on the prompt even though I didn't type them. And because I added the dash dash video parameter to the suffix, I'll always have the option to make a video. If you've never played with the video parameter, see my video, Creating a Process Video in Midjourney. You can only have one suffix at a time, but you can easily change it. Adding a new prefer suffix overwrites your old one. To remove the suffix entirely, type slash prefer suffix and click enter or return without typing a new value. But what if you want different commands for different types of images? Maybe you sometimes want a tall, high quality image that is really stylized. Maybe other times you want Midjourney to give you a surprise. When you make portraits, you might want a certain aspect ratio, but that's different from what you want for fantasy worlds. For this, you need to make a prefer option set. You can make many different sets of options to fit different occasions. In the message bar, type slash prefer option set. Choose a name for this set of commands. You can choose any name you want, but choose something that you will likely remember. If you haven't created your option set yet, the bot won't find anything with this name. Before you start typing, open the value box. Now you can start typing your parameters that you want to apply. For this example, I created an option set called Photo and included a few parameters that will help me make a more realistic, photo-like image. Click Enter or Return to apply the preferred option set. You will get a confirmation message. It's easy to edit an option set. Just use the same name and type different values. Currently, I can't use the stylized value of 625 with the dash dash test P prompt. I have to change it to 1250 in my option set. Make a new option set and use the same name, in this case, photo. 
Then I list my new parameters, including the updated stylized value. When I click enter, the new parameters overwrite the old ones. As far as I can tell, you can make as many option sets as you want. If you forget you prefer options, just type slash prefer option list, then click enter. This will give you each of your prefer options with all the commands. Here's part of my options list. The name of my prompt is listed first, followed by a colon, and then the prompts that I typed. So if I want the first set, I type dash dash my chaos. But I want you to notice something. I don't just have mid-journey prompt commands. I sometimes have descriptive words included with some of these option sets. I've created styles without subjects. Let's see a couple of examples. To create this set of cats, all I did was type the subject cat and my customized parameter dash dash chia. In case you're wondering, chia is short for chiaroscuro. This is a type of artistic lighting that I like so much but Chia is much easier to type. If you see me creating in the Discord feed, all you'll see is the subject followed by my custom prompt. I can change the subject and use the custom parameter again for a similar look. You know my Chia secret because you've watched this video and seen my options set list, but no one else will know. And you can't use my custom parameter as it is. If you try to upscale or make a variation on my prompt, Midjourney returns an invalid parameter only you can use your custom parameters. If you go to my homepage and copy my prompt, Midjourney will tell you the exact prompt. The ethos of Midjourney is sharing, but sometimes you want to keep your prompt recipes a little secret and not let others riff on your work before you've had a chance to play with it. I've created a number of my favorite styles with the slash prefer option set, the dash dash loss and dash dash L and A mean something to me. They are actually artists' initials. Unless you go to my homepage, you won't know which artists I'm referencing. In this video, you learned how to make custom prompts in Midjourney. You know how to add a set of commands to every image you create using the slash prefer suffix. You can create a custom set of commands using slash prefer option set. And you can get a list of your option sets using the slash prefer option list. With option sets, you can create your own image styles with prompts that are hidden and can't be used by other creators. But you can share your favorite custom parameters in the comments below. We won't tell anyone. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.